Okay, what we have is a uh, Heathkit IG-102 RF signal generator. Uh, this particular one was, uh, uh, was bought and licensed by Advanced Schools Incorporated, who saw fit to uh, stick their insignia on it, but don't let that fool you. It's, gen it's a genuine Heathkit IG-102, and... Um, and there is a, uh, a Heathkit uh, model serial number label on the bottom. The unit is in a very nice condition. Uh, there are few, if any, blemishes. Uh, nothing really to speak of. Uh, very minor nick uh, at this point where my finger is pointing, and a uh, very small flake missing here in the paint, but. Uh, all in all, it looks uh, in very remarkably new condition. You can see the shine on the on the paint. Um, I have uh, removed uh, and replaced the original um, button type uh, connectors that were on the front, and replaced them with uh, more modern BNC connectors, which will give you a chance to purchase and. And utilize any number of different adapters and so on. Here's the old button style that used to be on the front. This would have limited you uh, dramatically in, in what you could purchase. You would have had to purchase antique uh, uh, connectors. Uh, not what I would want to do myself, so uh, we went ahead and switched to the BNC style connector. And uh, now we, you can purchase these kind of cables uh, inexpensively on eBay and, and you're all set to go. Uh, this generator uh, generates anything from uh, 100 kilocycles up to 110 megacycles and does it in um, six ranges. Right now, uh, I am running the unit and uh, I have displayed on this uh, on this BNK scope the maximum signal, uh, the approximately 110 uh, megacycles, and you can see the. Uh, the waveform and as I as I turn my dial down we'll watch the waveform uh, expand. You'll also see the amplitude change. Uh, this is not a um, an amplitude controlled uh, uh, system. Um, you do have a manual control that allows you to increase or decrease the, um, the amplitude but uh, it is much more efficient at, s at generating some frequencies on, on some bands than others. So, for instance, right now, um, I'm, uh, I'm running probably about 30, 32 megacycles. But if I switch to band E, the next band down, and I go up to 32, you're going to see that my amplitude is dramatically more, and I have to actually reduce it using my manual control. So... It's just a matter of selecting the appropriate range to get uh, to get the appropriate efficiency and and uh, uh, be able to utilize it to your maximum benefit. Okay, so like right now uh, we've we've already swept through band F. I am now on band E, the second band down. We're at maximum, and as I sweep down, you can again see the waveform expanding. Uh, you also see the amplitude going down a little bit, so I'll go ahead and kick up the amplitude with the manual control. Okay. Then I'll switch to the 3.1 to 11 megacycle band, and I'll take us back up to the beginning, to the top end, and reduce our amplitude so we can see the waveform a little better. And I'm going to also take us down a little bit so we can see it on the, uh, on the scope range-wise. Okay, I'm reducing the frequency and you see the waveform expanding. And I can kick us up in amplitude here as we get to the low end. Go to band C. We can go ahead and turn our intensity down a little bit. And uh, take us up to the top. Reduce our amplitude a little bit so we can see the entire waveform. And start sweeping down. And the amplitude is decreasing as I go down in range, but I can manually make up for it, no problem. Okay, we've just switched to band B. 
We have, are right now at about 1.1 megacycles, and we will be sweeping down to 310 kilocycles. I'm going to reduce my amplitude a little bit and go ahead and turn this up a little. Let's go ahead and sweep down. And then finally, band A. Band A goes uh, 320 kilocycles to 100 kilocycles. And we'll go ahead and sweep through the range here. And there we are at 100 kilocycles at the end. And uh, again, I can raise my amplitude manually. Plenty of output. And there you have it. A, uh, a nice unit. There are no uh, apparent, you know, physical flaws on this thing. It hasn't been dropped, scratched, uh, banged around, treated, mistreated. Very good shape. For its age, it's essentially uh, like new. So uh, good luck. Um, I'll tell you what I will do. Uh, we'll, we'll do a couple of frequency checks on this to ju check the dial and make sure that we're getting accurate output. Okay, <clears throat> we right now are on band F. We're at the maximum frequency and we're displaying uh, 117.3 megacycles on the, uh, on the frequency counter. We're going to set around 110 here, and we're going to see what we read. Okay, we are set to, um, on band F, set to 110 right now. So we're reading 112.6. Relatively close, we're doing it by eye. This would be uh, 100. We're reading 101. 100. Let's go ahead and take it to 50. There's 50. 49.7. And uh, we'll go ahead and take her down to 30, 35. That looks to be about 35 there. And 35. 34.9. All right, we're going to go down a range. We are reading 10 to 32. Uh, so at this point, we should be reading about 11 there. We're reading 10.86 in the 11 spot. Let's go ahead and read 16. That would be 16. 15.5. Go ahead and take her up to 32. And we are reading 30. Next band, this is the 3.1 to 11 megacycle range, uh, so we would be reading 11 right about here, and we are reading 10.2. Okay, let's go ahead and take her about halfway, we'll go to 5.5 5 .5 megacycles, we are reading 5.3. And we'll take her down to 32. It's going to be 3.2 megacycles, and we are reading 3.15. Next band. This should be reading about 1 megacycle. 0.98. Let's go ahead and take ourselves up to uh, about 17. Or 1. 1.65, so we're reading 1.7 on the dial, that's pretty good. And then let's go ahead and take ourselves up to the maximum here, that would be 3.2 megacycles. We are reading 3.1, essentially. Band B, uh, we are, um, would be reading about uh, 1.1 megacycles there, we are reading 1.02. Let's go ahead and take ourselves down to about 500, 550 kilocycles on the dial. 
We're reading 533. Go ahead and take ourselves down to uh, 30, give out uh, 320 uh, kilocycles. We are reading 317, essentially. And then the final band, we are reading right now 100K, 99. Let's go to the halfway mark. That'd be about um, 170 uh, kilocycles. And we are reading 166. And then finally, uh, 320 kilocycles. And we are reading about 380. Okay, so the uh, the dial, being a manual dial, uh, is uh, fairly accurate. You're you're definitely uh, going to be within uh, say about five percent of anything uh, looks like. And if you have a frequency meter, then uh, you can put this thing dead on. It seems to be stable. I don't see any drifting going on right now. That's pretty amazing and impressive. So, thank you, and uh, good luck on your bidding. Okay, uh, let's take a real quick look at the um, modulation capabilities of this uh, unit. It's, it has uh, internal uh, uh, audio frequency modulation, uh, and it also uh, allows for external uh, modulation. Right now I'm in the external position, and since I don't have any signal applied, I, um, I don't have any modulation on my signal. However, if I was to connect uh, an incoming signal to this input jack here, in this position, and then using this knob I can control the, uh, the signal strength coming in, then I would modulate the signal. In which case, it would look very similar to what I'm going to get when I go to internal modulation. And... Uh, there you can see a modulated wave. Let's um, switch back. Unmodulated. Modulated. It's modulated with a 400 hertz tone. And uh, uh, we can adjust the amplitude as you see. Now, in this case, I am modulating the, um, the high frequency with the low frequency. And, uh, and you see the frequency shifting in between. But if I, um, uh, if I switch the scope to look at the lower frequencies where I'm looking at the envelope, then uh, we're going to see something quite different. Okay, try and uh, stabilize this a bit. <coughs> yeah, there, we there we go. There we've got the trigger adjusted. And as you can see, we have the, um, the low frequencies now um, uh, represented in general, and they are modulated by the high frequencies in between. So it all depends on how you look at it. Now if I switch out of it, the modulation's gone, we just have a constant amplitude and then go back to the modulated signal. 400 hertz, zero. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Now along with the, with the unit, the working unit, we also have this very nice uh, Heathkit assembly manual and a very nice um, BNC lead set of leads with uh, gator clip connectors which are the 
uh, most flexible type uh, can be used for most projects. And then something I wanted to point out with this particular manual is I did take the time to make 11 by 17 schematic drawings to make it easier to read. So you'll find those inside as well. So good luck on your bidding and uh, thank you for listening.